Bruce Stever here for Motorcycle Consumer News. Hello and welcome to California Speedway in Fontana, where we are testing BMW's Stellar S1000RR equipped with the HP Race Data Logger, shown here on the tail section. Let's get straight into the laps to acquire some of that data. On the left, you'll see onboard video from my laps on the RR, maintaining a fast pace towards the front of the intermediate group. On the right, we have video from onboard a quicker rider in the fast group. Coming off the banking and through the first chicane, it's clear that the fast lapper is carrying a lot more speed from the straight and into the first tight pair of corners. Coming out, you get on the gas hard for a long sweeping lap. In addition to the extra speed, you can see how the faster rider gets on the gas harder and sooner, bringing the bike into higher RPM faster. Next, we get on the brakes for a big double left, taken as one large 180 degree curve. You can actually see both riders get into the BMW's DTC as they get back on the gas. The camera's slight bobble is the result of the rear tire stepping out as it spins up. Next is a sharp decreasing radius right with a pink corner entry. Coming out into the short back straight, you'll see and hear the DTC at work again. Also check out BMW's RR Ambassador, Nate Kern scoot through and simply disappear by the end of the lap. As we come to the last series of bends, the faster rider is turning the bike faster to maintain more direct lines, while I'm taking more sweeping route that feels smooth but requires more racetrack space to end up wasting some time. The last few kinks set the rider up to drive hard up the banking and into the main straight again. Here, a smooth throttle hand will keep the tire driving forward despite the huge amount of power at play, while a sloppier input will trigger too much DTC intervention, which saps drive but maintains stability as far as the computer is The end result is an 8 second gap between the fast rider and itself, some of which is through overactive use of TC on my part, but most of which is due to less aggressive riding. Hey, there's always someone faster out there. Next, we sat down with Thomas von Westberg, sent from BMW Germany to show off the HP Race data logger and go over the data with us. It was truly fascinating to see the digital footprint of each lap and humbling to have an engineer confirm for you that yes, you would have crashed here without TC. Here's what the BMW software looks like. At the lower right, you'll see the GPS map of the track showing location of this particular data segment. The bottom of the screen shows lap times here in the middle of a 151 lap. And to the left, you see a legend for the various data channels, complete with values shown at the vertically dotted line. The orange line shows DTC intervention with a big spike, meaning power reduction at play. The RR's computer looks for sharp changes in wheel slip, the pink line, to determine where the DTC should get involved. Both the cause and the effect are actually shown at the bottom. The dark blue line is the requested throttle at the twist grip, where I simply asked for way too much power at this turn. This blew through my available traction, and the bike responded by reducing the actual input at the throttle body, as shown by the yellow line. Feeling the slide on board in the saddle, I reduced my throttle input to match available traction as the bike regained composure. End result, a minimal loss of drive, and better yet, no high side. Bike stayed upright, kept going. We learned a lot during our day with the HP Race Data Logger, and we hope that you gain some insight into modern traction control as well. A final thanks to BMW Motorcycles of Riverside for bravely loaning us their S1000RR and allowing us to destroy a new set of tires as well. Great day.